In this video, we will discuss the effects produced by occlusion of the anterior, middle and posterior cerebral arteries. 85% of strokes are ischemic. Ischemic stroke is the third most common cause of death and 30 to 50% of patients become disabled. Reduction in blood flow for few seconds causes cerebral ischemia. Why? Because neurons lack glycogen, so energy failure is rapid. Complete obstruction to cerebral blood flow causes neurons death in 4 to 10 minutes. Abrupt onset focal neurologic symptoms are typical of ischemic stroke. Ischemic stroke is most often due to embolic occlusion of a major cerebral artery. And what's a lacunar infarct? Lacunar infarct is an infarct due to occlusion of a branch of major cerebral artery or by occlusion of a small cerebral artery. Lacunar infarct account for 20% of all stroke. Anterior cerebral artery occlusion produces paralysis of foot and leg with sensory loss with or without paresis of the arm. Number two, gas and sucking reflexes and urinary incontinence. So anterior cerebral artery occlusion produces paralysis of foot and leg with sensory loss with or without paresis of the arm, gas and sucking reflexes and urinary incontinence. The posterior cerebral artery. In 75% of cases, it arises from bifurcation of the basilar artery and in 20% of cases, the posterior cerebral artery arises from ipsilateral internal carotid artery. Posterior cerebral artery occlusion produces two syndromes. Syndrome 1 involves ipsilateral subthalamus, medial thalamus, cerebral peduncles and the midbrain. It causes Claude and Weber syndrome which we already discussed and we have a video on that so please watch them and it also causes Dijerine Rousey syndrome. The posterior cerebral this syndrome produces third nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia of vertical gaze paralysis. The Dijerine Rousey syndrome initially causes contralateral hemisensory loss but later it's followed by agonizing shearing burning pain. This pain of Tijerine Rousey syndrome does not respond to analgesics but responds to anti-convulsants like carbamazepine and gabapentin or tricyclic antidepressants. The second syndrome is due to occlusion of the distal posterior cerebral artery that supplies medial temporal and occipital lobe causing contralateral homonymous hemianopsia with macular spearing. Why there is macular spearing in posterior cerebral artery occlusion. Macular region of the visual cortex is supplied by both posterior cerebral and middle cerebral artery branches. So a posterior cerebral artery lesion spares the macular vision. Number two, there is temporary memory loss in distal posterior cerebral artery occlusion and this is due to hippocampus involvement and why it's temporary because memory has a bilateral representation if dominant division is involved then infarction causes alexia without agraphia and visual agnosia for faces objects and for numbers. So the posterior cerebral artery, distal division involvement. The posterior part of posterior cerebral artery occlusion produces homonymous hemianopsia and cortical blindness, whereas the bilateral infarction in the distal posterior cerebral artery causes cortical blindness with preservation of pupillary light reflex. Why preservation of the light reflex? Because the optic tract innervates the edinger westphal nucleus via tectum. We already discussed in the other videos. Occlusion of the middle cerebral artery is the most common cause of ischemic stroke. Occlusion of the middle cerebral artery may be complete or partial. So it may produce both complete and partial lesions. The middle cerebral artery occlusion produces contralateral hemiplegia hemianesthesia, facial weakness, dysartria, and homonymous hemianopia or quadrantinopia. So the feature for middle cerebral artery occlusion are contralateral hemiplegia, hemianesthesia, facial weakness, dysartria and hemianopia or cardinopia. If dominant side is involved due to middle cerebral artery occlusion, it causes global aphasia. But if non-dominant side is involved, it causes anosognosia and neglect. Middle cerebral artery brain 
range occlusion. What does it cause? It causes partial syndrome that includes hand arm weakness or facial weakness with aphasia. If superior division of middle cerebral artery is involved, then it causes sensory motor stroke with aphasia. So, superior division of the middle cerebral, sensory motor stroke with aphasia. Whereas, if inferior division of middle cerebral artery is involved, that supplies posterior temporal cortex, it causes vernix aphasia without weakness. Inferior division, vernix aphasia without weakness. Superior division of middle cerebral artery sensory motor stroke. Now the basilar artery occlusion we have already discussed it in other video the locked in syndrome. It involves the long track. It produces facial paralysis, coma. It produces horizontal gaze palsy because horizontal gaze center in the pons. Hemifacial sensory deficits and Horner syndrome. The internal carotid artery supplies the optic nerve and retina. Occlusion of the ophthalmic artery causes transient recurrent mono -occlusion blindness that is called amaurosis fugex. Patient describes it as a horizontal shades moving up and down. So ophthalmic artery, branch, internal carotid artery, occlusion causes temporary recurrent blindness known as amaurosis fugex. Patient describing it as horizontal shades moving up and down and in carotid stenosis there is carotid bruise.